All right, viewers, uh, visuals coming in. A special honor for the Prime Minister in Greece. Uh, what we are seeing right now, a short while back, Prime Minister arriving in Greece on the first Prime Ministerial visit in 40 years. And uh, visuals coming in, all for the, a special honor for him right over there, coming in on your screens. Uh, uh, PM Modi arrived in the Greek capital from South Africa, where he had attended the 15 BRICS summit and held bilateral meetings with world leaders. And right now he is in Greece. Uh, we will expect that many talks will be held uh, to strengthen bilateral ties between both the nations. So the Prime Minister holding up meeting uh, with the Greek president a short while back and uh, this is on his one day visit to Athens uh, talking about the success of India's lunar mission Chandrayaan-3 which landed successfully on the moon on August 23rd and in that meeting which you see the Prime Minister said that the success of Chandrayaan-3 is not only for India but for the entire humankind all over the world viewers so this visual is coming in of the meeting that we are seeing between uh, the Prime Minister Modi and the Greek president a visual is coming in of that meeting there and this is his official state visit to Greece he has become viewers the Prime Minister has become the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Greece in 40 years since the former PM Indra Gandhi. And, uh, now remember viewers, right now what you see is a special honour which has been uh, presented to the Prime Minister and uh, the Greece President honouring PM Modi. Visuals of that coming on your screen viewers. Special honour for the Prime Minister in Athens, in Greece. The Prime Minister held a meeting with the Greek President a short while back and he highlighted the success of uh, Chandrayaan 3. Let's go to Abhishek Kapoor, our senior executive editor, who's joining us on the phone line. Abhishek, uh, a very, very special honor for the Prime Minister in Greece. Well, yes, uh, and uh, possibly the 14th uh, or 15th that he has got uh, in the last uh, nine years of his prime ministership uh, uh, from Maldives in the neighborhood to uh, UAE and the Saudi Arabia in the Middle East uh, uh, to Papua New Guinea in the Southeast Asian archipelago. So I think uh, this is in line with uh, the, way, the way Prime Minister is seen, the way his diplomacy is seen as, uh, uh, you know, being, uh, uh, being a diplomacy of uh, friendship, of uh, assistance, of help in difficult times. And uh, India essentially now is, so it is seen as a friend in chief, as Prime Minister called it from the ramparts of uh, Redford, Vishwavitra. Uh, then obviously uh, a lot of uh, uh, that, uh, a lot of contribution in that has gone in by Prime Minister's personal and personalized style of diplomacy where he engages intensely with the leaders one-on-one -on -one and uh, uh, and whatever decisions are taken uh, are immediately, uh, you know, materialized on the ground. Also, be it, uh, be it the earthquake in Turkey, with Turkey, which was uh, a couple of months back, uh, or uh, the water crisis in Maldives, or the Sri Lankan economic collapse, or uh, uh, the COVID pandemic and the sending of uh, hydroxychloroquine tablets and the vaccine through the vaccine mapping program, India has seen and then projected a picture of confidence and stability uh, in the, even in the post-pandemic recovery phase also in the last couple of years uh, with all the heavy lifting in so far as economic development is concerned coming in from India. If you look at it, even the Chinese are wobbly and, and the Chinese economy is uh, in dire straits. Uh, uh, so I think uh, it, it, the European economy is just chugging along and uh, except for the Americans uh, which continue to grow at a fast clip, uh, overall, uh, if you look at it, India has been uh, uh, a net provider of stability with its 6% plus growth. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 some organizations say it could be 7% plus. So I think in that context, uh, the awards are essentially a reflection of uh, uh, India's position in the Committee of Nations and uh, the personal uh, uh, push and uh, a personal investment that the Prime Minister does uh, in uh, uh, in, in, in strengthening all bilateral relationships, even multilateral ones. Uh, and in this mm. case, the fact that after 40 years, an Indian Prime Minister is visiting Shivangi uh, just underscores that. All right. Uh, thank you, Abhishek Kapoor, uh, Senior Executive Editor, for joining us. A special honor for the Prime Minister Modi in Greece. And like we just told you, viewers, that this is a very special visit as well as this is a visit of the Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister to visit uh, Greece in 40 years. And he's getting a special honour there. Let's move ahead. Viewers, former 
former United States President Donald Trump surrendered in Georgia today in connection with the 2020 elections case. Trump was later released on a bond of 2 lakh US dollars. Century Laminates gets you this report.